Oh man, heavy deep, throwing up the roadblock. Still throwing the roadblock. Right. I guess he's trying to stay on the lead lap is what he's trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way, Heavy D. And look at that. Tanner got some distance away from Bowman. Oh, no. Heavy D's getting into the, into the lead car. Wow, he is really throwing a wrench in the program right now. Oh, Tanner goes into the side of him. Hey, where's Cleeter? Cleeter's back there quite a bit. Oh, oh and look at that. Tanner gets spun by Heavy D. That was hard contact. Oh, wow. Heavy D gets punted. Out. Oh, man, look at Whistling Diesel. That back right corner has seen better days, and we got a caution. That is why harnesses and cages are installed in these vehicles. Yeah, I thought we were going to get by without any major damage, and then at the last bit of that accident, uh, Gets into Whistling Diesel. To your point, a lot of damage on that on that car. So they will line them up in the order. Dude, Heavy D just went absolutely bonkers all over the track. Here's the replay. Watch this, the freedom replay. Heavy D gets to the side of Tanner, spins him out. Heavy D comes to a halt. But watch this, whammo. Yeah, that's that's that that like to have got really bad right there. Oh. That was in front of almost the entire field. Oh boy. Make some noise for Whistling Diesel here. He avoided the contact and qualifying, but Heavy D goes hard into him. T-Bone's the back end, spinning him out, causing some damage. We'll see if his car is runnable. All right, hey Jared, I'm yes. down here on the fence looking at the front row seat of the damage on Whistling Diesel's car. Let's just say he didn't disappoint with destroying something today. I'm looking at a tacoed rim. The whole rear axle is crooked, but it wasn't his fault. He actually got hit by another driver. Did you guys see that action right up here? Was that some racing or what? Well, let's hope we can get Whistling Diesel back out there in another car here soon. All right, we're riding in here with Cletus. What was Heavy D doing? I wish you could go grab some words with him. He just went all over the track there, Spence. Hey, Chelsea Denofa with that replacement vehicle, he looks he looks to be uh, back up to snuff. But he put a whole new meaning to jump in the start of a race. Oh, really? <laughs> There's no, no question. I did I think not see it. He made up about four or five spots before they ever came out of turn four. <laughs> <laughs> so Cleeter making claims. He said, hey, Bowman, I'm coming for you. He's still in the back of the pack. He's currently sitting 18th. So we've got we've got Tanner Faust in the uh, 34 car. Mm -hmm. He went behind the wall over oh, to the garage right. area. And we're on lap six. Remember, right now, caution laps are not counting. The Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van has them really slowed down right now while they try to get things cleaned up here coming off turn four on the front straightaway. And we are hearing, I'm getting word from uh, Chelsea Denofa's wife, Chelsea. She says that Chelsea does not have nitrous does not have nitrous in that car. Okay, in Cletus told us some do, some don't. Exactly, so that one doesn't. All right, looks like uh, Whistling Diesel, the 01's being pulled off. We'll see if he re-enters with another 01. And obviously, like you said, Tanner exit stage left. We are only six laps in of 100. You know what? I expected Carnage prior to six laps to be to be completely I didn't fair. think they'd make it through turn one and two but remember <laughs> double file restarts so yep. with Tanner Faust having his issue that's going to put Alex Bowman in that 48 car on the outside of the front row mm -hmm. and look who's back there on the inside of the second row Travis Pastrana in that 199 looks like we're going to stop him here on the front stretch just for a second Adam LZ re-entering he looks like he uh he exited stage left as well but he is back wonder what happened to him Hey, what do you guys think, Freedom Factory? You loving this stuff or what? Hell yeah, brother. From the looks of one tire or one wheel being a different color, I would say he went and changed the tire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking yeah. about Adam LZ. Yes, sir. Yeah, Adam, uh, just a, a really popular driver out here, a famous YouTuber. Just bought a huge facility here in Florida. Just uh, supposedly it's like 30 acres. And there are the uh, fresh nittos. On the back end there of Adam LZ's Crown Vic. Re-rack them, let's stack them. J.H. Diesel, you having fun, bud? Solid burnout there. You. 
All right. Track lights are turning on. The sun is setting. We are live, baby. Local time, 7.36. Six laps in. How many, I, I'm, I'm bad at math. Uh, that is 90, 94. 94. 94. Thank you. I, thank I'm you. from Alabama. I can even do that math. Come on, uh, Jared. 10. 10. 10. <laughs> that's, that's what I can get to. You know, one thing about it, when the sun does go down and we get into, into more of darkness, we will be able to see those yellow lights on the deck lid, which indicates that the driver is into the nitrous oxide. But I just want to iterate, only 90 seconds worth of nitrous oxide. So if you use it early, I believe I'd want to save just a little bit. Yeah, save a little in the tank for those final 10 laps. I think you said that earlier. Is I think what the plot's really going to start to, to thicken at those final 10 laps. <laughs> Looks like to me the plot thickened in the first 10 laps. <laughs> it thickened in qualifying. <laughs> I just can't get over uh, whistling diesel, man. So we got that John Deere. It's still back out there. We got our official down on the ground. The watermelon uh, salad is still out there on the skid pad. Um, I, I, I think Cleeter will be sending Heavy D a bill for the grass damage. I mean, you don't you you, you got to respect a man's lawn. You I'm know, you, it, it, it 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 just pristine, and he just just caught the edge of it. Just the edge of it. Yeah. It, uh, no. But then remember, he went around. He went. And took over the lead. He was a lap down, and he went across the grass. I don't know what's going what's going on with that man. He's throwing out chicken. He's trashing the grass. He's he's hopped up like a spider monkey. You know, we talked about Chelsea Denova that '88 car. Mm -hmm. That as we look at Cletus McFarland, but Chelsea's original car that never took the green flag. That's one of the ones you and I were looking at today. You could tell it was an ex-Orlando police car. A lot of <laughs> yeah. these Crown Vicks are right, right. one-time police cars. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to find where is, where is Chelsea at? Uh, he is in fourth right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, he should, he, he should be there. So I'm trying to, trying to re-rack him, but Vice Grip Garage. Oh, and there is Whistling Diesel. He is back. Doesn't have the slick orange paint job now. But the 1776, so the 01 Whistling Diesel, he'll get re-racked into fourth. But like I said, I'm, I'm not seeing uh, I'm not seeing Chelsea up here on the uh, on the restart on our, on our score. Yeah. yeah, yeah. At 144, PFI Speed Brent. Brent. So we already we're already two backup vehicles into the six. So now only four cars are backups to the original rides of these gladiators of Freedom 500 at the Freedom Factory, the house that Freedom built. Hey, if you guys haven't already checked it out, BaldEagle.com is officially a website that Cletus bought, and he wanted to let Freedom ring, so he said, BaldEagle.com, that's mine, and it takes you right to the CletusMcFarland.com website. So tell your friends, BaldEagle.com, where you get all your Cleeter goods. Isn't it amazing? Look at all the merch that, that Cletus has got and his whole family. He's, this guy's got his Freedom Factory lifeguard hat. Looks good, bro. Thanks for coming out. The line for the merchandise trailer yep. was about four times longer than the line for the beers. Right, <laughs> exactly. They just uh, should have had a bundle there. But uh, uh, I saw, saw Cletus's mom and dad, his, his brother out here. It is, it is truly a family affair here at Freedom Factory, and I'm sure Cletus welcomes everybody, and he said it. He welcomes everybody like family. Spence, what do you, what do you got there, buddy? I see that smirk. Dude, I'm just up here on the fence looking at all these fans losing their cool. This guy with the biggest belt buckle in the game. Yeah. Who's having a good time here? Now, at, at drift night, y'all were, like, throwing me beers and hot dogs and stuff, and I'm hungry, and I'm looking around. Oh, there we go. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> no, you guys are great. Who's having a good time? All right, hey guys, what do you guys think of the race so the far long, with these guys up front? This is Cleeter in the car. Excuse the long caution. We got some people who don't know how to keep track of what position they're in. So we're getting it resorted, dude. This is the Freedom 500. You gotta do what you gotta do. So hang tight. Cleeter, Heavy D trashed your grass, and he just absolutely threw a wrench in the system. Is he gonna get penalized, or do you support it? Dude, I don't know. I think he should have to shave an inch off his beard. Oof, that Oof. is harsh, harsh punishment. Yeah, 
Oh, there we go. 1776, that vice grip garage. Tanner Fast in second. Bowman in third. And look at Pastrana pass the 3113 of Randy Prost. He took it up there on the high side through turn one and two, and he's still running about the middle of the racetrack, and he is making some hay up there. Time out Pastrana. That tail whip of the side-by-side uh, -side blog, the pink car, that tail whip is flapping. And Cleeter's got the light on. He is crawling through the course. I don't think Cleeter is 100%. Vice Grip Garage in that 1776, he got very high off turn two, had to jump out of the throttle, let, let Tanner Faust, as Tanner oh, looks like he's going to drive up on the top side, going through one and two, maybe a little bit of a crossover oh, move Oh, look here. at this. Vice Grip goes high, Tanner goes low, and Cletus pulls off. The Willy Wonka of this chocolate factory, a.k.a. the Freedom Factory, pulls off in his own race. Oh, we got a spin. Oh, no. <laughs> But we, they won't throw a caution. He can get it. He, we're not going to throw a caution. He's okay. But guess what? He is throwing up a road. Oh, we are seeing a caution. We are seeing a caution. All right. I don't think we should have thrown a caution. I don't there. think so That's either. one of those we've got to swallow the whistle, guys. Come on. All right. So Tanner Faust gets the lead in that 34 car in – a backup car, I might add. Yeah. Cletus McFarlane, 99. He's back out on the racetrack. Not sure what he – he wasn't in there long enough to actually change a tire. Uh, look at this. I'm getting messages from my buddy. My buddy's watching at home on his home theater. He's watching the, the Freedom 500 right now. What's up, Bert Neal? It's a pretty good setup. It's a golf simulator as well. So uh, got, got all the family and friends at home watching. You got, you got family watching this? I do. Good. I do. Absolutely. Good, Absolutely. Good. Hey, Spence, who won the hot dog eating competition? Is that even a question? Yes. I won the hot dog eating competition. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, of course you did. I'll course. race another person. Oh, well, wow. Now you're There's just. There's not enough hot dogs on property. Okay. All the hot dogs. <laughs> All the hot dogs. Spence, we're going to change you to, to, to hot dog, Spencer. And, and I got a cold one. What? Oh. I know. TFTI, Lucky bro. <laughs> TFTI. <laughs> no, Jared, I think we caught J.H. Hildebrand, the driver of our Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van. I think we caught him off guard. He didn't even go out there that time. He just, <laughs> he just stayed <laughs> in the infield. He's like, you know what? You guys are crazy, man. Dude, you got a dart in your neck. You're crazy, bro. Dude, you're crazy, bro. Let's try this again. Nine of 100. <laughs> All right. Watch, rinse, repeat. Here we go. Back in Summit Racing. Fred of 500. Set it. There we go. Oh, I saw the uh, 1776. The orange light went on the little nitrous spray from the Vice Grip Garage. It's not a bad time to do it. Coming down no. the front straightaway on a restart. And in the interim, the 07 Taylor Ray, he has pulled his crown, Vic, into the infield. Bowman is very smooth. Look at him just drop in, riding side saddle with Tanner. Tanner taking the higher line. Drops into formation there as Bowman in third. Travis sneakily sneaking around the backside. Speaking of sneaking, 411, Ryan Turk and that Toyota Camry. He just moved into the sixth position, just taking it easy, yep. biding his time, trying to stay out of trouble. He's got his headlights on. And, oh, look at Blake Wilkie throws on the uh, the interceptor, the cop light. Ooh, Tanner is getting into the side of Vice Grip, but no, he bounces back, no problem. Got the caution. We've got the 187. Sean oh, no, Nova. Vice Grip dropping back quite a bit. Oh, we got caution. Yeah, he's, oh. he's, he, was, he was stalled down there on the apron in turn four and couldn't seem to get going. Oh, isn't it amazing how he gets going now after uh, the caution comes out? I very, see how this works. <laughs> very convenient. So Taylor Ray pulls into the middle of the skid pad, and now, oh, guess what? Cletus, he is in the pit. Look at we're we're, we're seeing Cletus in the pits. Hopefully – Oh, no, Taylor is having mechanical issues. That's the uh, gold member, the 07. Yeah, this could be terminal for Taylor. There you see him just sitting there on the skid pad in the infield. So looks like his night may be done as we're getting a one to go from the starter to go back racing 11 laps down of 100 here in the Freedom 500. Oh, man, so, so good. Micah, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so uh, re-racked him and stacked him. Lap 11 of 100, Taylor Ray. Looks like he's going to try to make it over to the pits when the field passes by. But again, no sign of Cletus, number 99. 
How about Randy Pope's in that in that yep. in that uh, 3113 car? He made his way up there inside the top five. First time on an oval and on asphalt. <laughs> Look at this, Murder Nova diving on the inside, trying to. Oh man, he is going for broke right now. Again, that 801 of Heavy D getting into it with Murder Nova. We got some clean racing out front. Haley Deegan dropping back quite a bit. Blake Wilkie, 357. Oh, man. I'm feeling another tussle coming on about mid-pack here, Larry. Yeah, Vice Grip Garage, he keeps running low. And Tanner Faust keeps trying up on the high side as you see him going down the back straightaway right then. Yeah, Vice Grip Garage even runs the bottom down the back straightaway just trying. If, if Tanner Faust is going to go around him, he said, you're going to have to go around me on the high side, although he opened the door that time in three right. and four in the bottom. Lucky 13 laps in of 100. Plenty still to go. Oh, we got a flat tire on the 801. That's heavy D, so he's going to go over and get a tire changed. Oh, we got it. Oh, Tanner oh, Faust gets wow. it. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. That That is a race maneuver. Oh, he goes into the tire. He but, almost saved it. Oh. Almost saved it. Oh, look at this. Bowman gets into the side of the 3113. That's Randy. Randy Popst. Oh, Vice Grip, who was a real contender for the lead. Him and Tanner get into a tussle. Had a little chat with Randy Pope today. Just w w what a prince of a guy. He's been track testing for Motor Trend Magazine yep. for 12 years. Oh, Any yeah. articles you see where something's been tested, Randy Pope's in that 31-13. He's the guy that probably tested it. That's right, the flying moose. And the moose is loose. He's currently contending there for the lead, but Tanner Faust doesn't have the target literally on his back, but he now does have the lead. He's got the clean. Oh, look at that. The far side of the track. Chelsea DeNova in that 88 car. Oh, he he, he moved into fifth and then and just it hits the wall coming up off turn two. Just I think the confidence level exceeded the grip level. <laughs> right. Right. So, yeah, the, uh, the 88 there pulling off. Chelsea DeNova. Got the black flag for the 801 right now, uh, Heavy D. That's not what you want to see, but Heavy D, he's uh, he's been he's been playing villain, I got to say, out here. But he, he may not be done flag. yet. <laughs> right, I know. Just given that there are no rules, the rules are there are no rules, and some cautions will happen, but looks like Heavy D pulls off. So, and Chelsea DeNova in the 88, you're talking about a man on a mission. He just drove back on the racetrack over in turn three right in front of the leaders. Oh, man, yeah, there he is. He's back on it. So Tanner Faust still out front. And there you see Vice Grip Garage back in 13th, who was in second. Oh, we got some drifting going down. Uh, guess who? Chelsea DeNova. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DeNova, DeNova definitely gets down, man. And Blake Wilkie. Shining his light there. So Tanner out front, Randy Pope's in second. Bowman, quite a bit of distance from him, but Chelsea, so you got even though he's currently sitting in third, he's, I believe, a lap down. You are correct. You are correct. Yeah, because right now, Alex Bowman running fourth on the racetrack in that 48. He's actually third. And you see the little red 411 coming in the picture. Ryan Turk in that Toyota Camry. He is up into the fourth position right now. So Tanner, Randy, look at Ryan Turk in that Camry and still no Cletus. Where's he at? Oh, what a bummer. He's watching from the sideline with Whistling Diesel and Taylor Ray. He's not here either. Here comes Vice Grip. Oh, my goodness. Lap 22 of 100. <laughs> Ryan Turk is the only one with headlights on <laughs> in that Toyota Camry. Oh, we got another caution out there in turn four up on the bank. <laughs> that, is, that is comical. <laughs> All right. That definitely was the longest green flag run that we have had so far. Right. Good, good, probably oh, maybe we got, 12 we got or 13 laps. Where there's smoke, there's potentially fire. We're seeing a lot of smoke coming out of that. Who is that again? That's uh, the 194? I can't, I can't read the numbers from over there, but look at this. I we think, got, is it 144? Is that oh, yeah, Brent PFI Speed? And I think right. that, that's that's the backup car that he went to. 
That is right. So 22 laps in, you are correct. 144, there it is. Brent PFI speed. See, there it is, the Tampa police. And by my calculations, in fact, you know, they're not necessarily the way they're running, but the top four cars behind the, the Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van, they're all backup cars. So yeah. I, we may be, we may have depleted that inventory. Yeah, I think it's going to be done. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, beside myself, that Cletus isn't in. Again, Whistling Diesel, he took himself out. And, uh, and do we have James out here? So we got 34 out front that's tanner we got the 07 so taylor ray that's him now so he took another backup car that was, yeah, that was the gold yeah. number so he jumped in the a backup car yeah there's 15 of the 20 drivers that started out on the racetrack right now a couple more just came out so i think that puts us about 17 <laughs> that's out there now all right so uh lap 22 of 100 we're gonna Hear a short message from our sponsor, the Summit Racing Equipment Free 500. Cherry. I draw an S for spicy in the air. Look at the like flick this. of the wrist. Look, look at, at the, the flick, flick of the, the wrist. wrist. Uh. Look at the flick of the wrist. Hot dog Spence. Now, Spence, they'll tell you okay. drop the flag, but don't literally drop the flag. No. Don't just wave the flag. Don't drop the flag. So we're so almost a quarter way through this thing. Lap 22 on the board right now. <laughs> 78 laps to go. There we are with Travis. What's going through his head right now? He is saying these people have lost their mind out here on this racetrack. And so have I. Travis, we're riding shotgun with you if you can hear us. Travis. Okay. Tightening up the straps, making sure he's all good. The GoPro on the dash. All right. Randy Popes, he keeps tempo there with Tanner Faust. They're going to be side by side at the wave of the green flag. Yep. So he's saying one flag Yo, here. They're getting pretty spicy under caution. They're just flooring it through the thing. There. I mean, I'm still holding this thing. Did I do something? Yeah. Okay. All right. All here right. You go, guys Spence. ready? Are you going to help me? All right. I Don't. got this. Don't drop it, Spence. I'm more nervous than the national anthem, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shaking. I think I'm going to throw up. Don't throw up. Don't throw up, Spence. Don't throw up on the cars. Something else going on with Vice Grip oh, Garage. Yeah, he just went back to the garage here. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Hadouken. Oh, we're Woo! three wide. Three wide into turn one. Spence, phenomenal it. job. Chelsea DeNova. He, yep. he, he does not know what stay in line on a restart means. He no. had him three wide over turn four. Trying to go up there and pass the leader, Tanner Faust. Oh, look at that. Three wide behind Randy Popes. And Tanner still gets that clean air. Trying to be challenged by Chelsea Denofa. I would say most of the drivers up front are going, who the hell is that back there with the headlights on? <laughs> I know. The, the, the Camry headlights is, is definitely a crack up. I think he's got that thing on cruise control. Again, front wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. Oh, look at this. Three wide. Got the 801, Murder Nova. Seen smoke being kicked up here. Bumper to bumper, Adam LZ and Randy Post. All right, so Tanner. Yeah, there are quite a few. Larry, what are you, you finding out Well, here? Chelsea DeNova in the 88 car running second behind Tanner Faust. He is a lap down. So Randy Pope's actually in the 31-13. Uh, He's running in second place right now. Yep, yep. So just to clarify that, he's essentially a lapper right now. That, so uh, He's a lapper that's a pain in the butt to Randy Pope's <laughs> right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
man has done a lot in yep. motorsports. So he's had a lot of injuries, but it, there's not much he's not. A lot like Tanner Faust, there's not much under the sun or moon that he's not done. Right, but he hasn't won a Freedom 500. We'll see if he adds that to his resume. We are officially more than a quarter way through lap 28 of 100. We're getting some clean racing here, Larry. Everybody's kind of settled their nerves, the vehicles. We'll see if they can hold it together. 29 laps in. All right, we're starting to see some separation here. We're not seeing tight, too tight back there. Murder Nova and Blake Wilkie going at 357 to 187. Yeah, we've never had a long enough green flag run where the leader would get into the lap cars. If we can run another 10, 15 laps, we may get there, but that might be a stretch. So Tanner still out front. Randy Popes. Oh, look at Chelsea coming in on the inside. I wonder if he even knows he's a lap down. Adam LZ quietly here, working his way from the back of the pack. He currently sits in third. Oh, but just as I say that, you said somebody was quiet. The number 11 side-by-side -side blog, the pink with the tail whip, slides up past LZ. Looks like LZ almost out of power. And Ryan Turk trying to take advantage of it. Well, or for, is Travis Pastrana, rather, in that yep. he's going he's gonna to go by all of them. Oh, Three, oh man. I don't know how in the world they made it through there. <laughs> Somehow, some way. It was almost like synchronized spinning. <laughs> like they helped each other. It's trust fall. Trust me. Oh. All right, LZ and side-by-side -side blog, door-to-door. -door. That's, a, that's a fight for fourth. Just outside a podium spot, right? But that's it. The winner circles, all that matters. One, one vehicle to rule them all. Will it be a Crown Vic, or is the Toyota Camry going to play spoiler? Tanner Faust still out front. You see Taylor Ray. He, he, he's what we call in Alabama, he's a, a one-eyed Joe. He has one headlight that's burning <laughs> in an 07 car. Oh, look at this. Adam and side-by-side -side blog going wheel to wheel. This is a battle for the fourth position. Actually, right. Taylor Ray is one or more laps down right behind them. That is right. Yeah, Taylor Ray back there quite a bit. Really fixated on the bright colored vehicles here. While you're watching this battle, Tanner Faust in that 34 car, he has kind of stretched it out just a little bit, probably about a half a straightaway oh, out yeah. front. Oh, fans, some, something's erupting out here on, on track. I think it's this battle back there for yep. about third or fourth. Alex Bowman in that 48 car really starting. Oh, we got fade. a hood up. Oh, Taylor Ray with the hood. You're definitely gonna, not going to make it far with the hood up like that. And he is all in the man's grass. Yeah, right. Landscaping service courtesy of Taylor Ray. Looks like he's trying to find a gap to go across and go out the racetrack over in turn three, but we're kind of like a conveyor belt right now of race cars. They're all around this three-eighths-mile yep. track. Yep. So Tanner Faust still out front. All right, where's, where's Taylor going? I think he's going to pull over here, get some help from the uh, – Fire safety. Put that hood back down. Ah, you know, that'll buff out. I think that's fine. And they, these these cars, they don't have hood pins. They've got no. just the regular stock hood latch, like on your your own passenger car. Right. <laughs> Look at this. We've got Jade sitting on the hood trying to flatten that thing out. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to relatch, and then it's just going to fly up again. So they might just pop off the hood. Yeah, if they, if they don't get it fastened back, it's, it's just going to be a repeat of what we just saw. Bowman was, was really strong here. Now it's the battle for fifth as Bowman tries to flex on Sue here. The lights are on. Not seeing, you know, now that we're closing in on the halfway mm -hmm. point, Jared, I'm not seeing a lot of yellow lights on the deck lid right now. I think no. to our point earlier, a lot of them – Let's, let's save a little bit here. But Alex Bowman, he just keeps working all over of that 11 car side-by-side -side block. Hey, Spence, what's up, man? How's, how's the vibe down there? The vibe down here is lit up on the racetrack. Who's having a good time? Yeah, dude, these people are having a good time, man. It's going great. There's some spike. Oh, it looks like they got that hood relashed down in center field. Taylor Ray relatching the hood. Spence crushing hot dogs, getting the, <laughs> and, getting the fans beers. hype. But we got some good racing, man. It seems like everybody finally calmed down. 
How about our man Cletus McFarland? He is uh, back out there in oh, a is. backup car, and he is making some noise. A number of laps down, but he's all over our third, fourth, and fifth place drivers right, right there now. He is the, the white 99. 99. Yep. There yep. you see him. Guys, Travis Pastrana in the 199 coming down the finish line stretch right here has worked his way up to third place. Let's leave it for Travis Pastrana. Hey, Spence. That's some driving seeing, right there, baby. I'm seeing the lone Camry, the last Starfighter, Ryan Turk pulling off Larry. Oh, unfortunate. It liked to have been big over there as he was slowing down to make that right-hand turn at the end of the back straight because they were coming at him about three wide behind him. Yep. Oh, man, this is making some history here at the iconic Freedom Factory. So Tanner Faust almost coming on on the back of the pack, which is Blake Wilkie. But, again, if you if you take a look, Tanner Faust has the lead. Randy Pope's in second. Oh, Bichotta, God, oh! Cletus McFarland. Oh, sideways. Cletus gets spun into the wall. Yeah, Nick Seuss, side-by-side -side blog, gets into Cletus McFarland, and that will bring the caution out here at lap 45, just five laps shy of halfway. I could almost hear Cletus saying, not hell yeah, brother, but hell no, nah, brother. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, you guys know the rule. That is Cletus' second car. Yep. That means – We've probably seen as much as we're going to see of the uh, previous Freedom 500 champion. He might be out. It looks like he's getting an inspection right at the entrance right there. Alex Bowman pulling off as well. He was a big lead race contender. So, Jared, who do we have? What's the first, second, third place breakdown right now? Right now, Tanner Faust leads the pack. Randy Popes in second. And Travis Pastrana currently sits in third. That's crazy because Tanner Faust has never raced on oval track ever. And that's what he was telling me tonight. He's like, I don't know how I did in qualifying. And then he was like, dude, you did third place in qualifying. Spence, actually, that's the case for our top three right now. Yeah. Tanner Faust, Randy Popes, and Travis Pastrana. Well, Travis Pastrana raced two years in Cup Series. Well, that's though. true. That's true. Yeah. He did He did, He did. did have the Xfinity Series and the Truck Series. So yeah. you are right on that. Under his own assessment, though, he goes, I was no good. <laughs> that's, what, that's exactly what he told me today. Yeah. <laughs> But he's really putting on a show for the fans tonight. What do you guys think? I want to give a big shout out. I think Jared might have done it already for any of you prior military, any service members, and then our EMT and fire safety squad. These people have done so much for us. Thank you, everybody. Round of applause for these people that have served for our country. The best country in the world. We also got a few people tonight requesting some shout outs for some anniversaries here celebrating honeymoon. So if you made a Cletus and Cars event a special occasion for yourself, give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. I've never seen this place so full, so alive with energy. This entire crowd hasn't sat down for more than two or three laps. You guys are nuts. It's a caution. And you guys are like, nah, we're going to stand. <laughs> Dude, I need to find somebody's swag that's more spicy than this guy's belt buckle right here. He's got his hat on and everything. This is ridiculous. I'm going to go check in with my folks from Sweden, see how they're doing. I'll be right back. I think they ran out to, uh, to Ikea to get some meatballs. <laughs> uh, Blake Wilkie with a little sideshow. Must be getting bored back there right? right now. So, yeah, just a little bit of fun on the skid pad here at Freedom Factory. With that caution, it bunches them up. <laughs> Look at that. Chelsea and, uh, and Cletus are getting into it just, uh, just on this re-rack. And look at that. They put Chelsea Denofa back to his position in the back of the pack. So he's, he's not, uh, he's not uh, you know, throwing, throwing a log jam in there. So there they are. Lineup is good. I believe we're official. And yet the white flag is out. So one lap next time they come through, we're racing. Hey. Almost halfway there, lap 45 of 100. Summit Racing Equipment, Freedom 500. I tell you, Tanner Faust in that 34 car, a backup car, I might add, uh, got into that wreck, what, lap one or two. Yep. But he has been the class of the field for these last few restarts. And just really that last time, a fairly long green flag run just drove away. Remember what I said? I said, I called Tanner. You did. Uh, Tanner, I'll Tanner, give you that. Tanner was my I pick. I will give you that. I will give you that. Let's let's keep an eye on that car right behind him, that 199 of yeah. Travis Pastrana. He's keeping it clean. I'm really surprised. I mean, Bowman was a real contender there for a while, and now he's not even on the track. So I wonder if his vehicle uh, caught a cold and not running right. 
but still seeing Cletus out there. It's good to see him. It looks like getting pace, and green flag is going. Randy Popes in the 31-13, a yep. good run, kept tempo, but drifts a little high. Tanner Faust in the 34, just going to pull away on the bottom, down the back straightaway. Got a great overhead view there. Tanner getting the clean air. Getting challenged by Randy on that back left corner. Does not spin him. Couple cars wide out of turn four. Adam LZ in that 05 car. He's starting to come to life. He's moved up there into the fourth place. Murder Nova getting loose out of turn two. Haley Deegan in the black 62. She's moved into the top five. She's been kind of quiet back there. Again, she got she got the uh, Rambo, the her tiny little dog weighs about a pound soaking wet, her spirit animal for this event. I think she's just finally overcoming what they did to her qualifying. <laughs> right? Dude, Murder Nova is just absolutely coming in, kicking a hold of the speaker. Oh, we got spinning out, 435. Diesel Dave. Diesel Dave. But he continues to go, yep. and we stay green as we are about two laps shy of halfway of the Freedom 500. Oh, Diesel Dave exiting. Oh, look at Murder Nova. Again, that turn two has just been nothing but a problem for him. Which ends up being problems for everybody over there when he gets in trouble. All right, coming to the halfway point with the completion of this lap. Tanner Faust, Randy Popst. And here we go. There's the signal halfway through. Faust, Popst. Oh, we got an accident there on the back. That's Chelsea Denofa. Getting into it. Caution and flag waves that. as we cross the halfway point of this race. Yep. That may be the end of Chelsea DeNova. I see parts laying everywhere over there oh, on the back man. straightaway. Yard sale. Barely used. Crown Vic. It's going on eBay tomorrow. Barely used. Hey, I'm Jaron. Just, yes, sir. It looks like Chelsea came up a couple sandwiches short of a picnic on that one. Oof. Yep. Yep. Yard sale. Yikes. I'm going to give it out to that guy in that quad. That guy's pretty sporty. He's ripping across there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's hot boy. Oh, speaking of hot boy, look at Chelsea. Yeah, oh. oh, my gosh. That was a wall tap. Oh, boy. He's strolling parts still as he leaves the racetrack. They're scattered all over the back straightaway. Front bumpers, braces, brackets. Did not see Ryan Turk re-enter in his Toyota Camry, the 411. Oh, there's a replay of that accident. So Murder Nova, like I said, he was just getting super loose on turn two every single lap. So Murder Nova and Chelsea get into it. So look at this. I mean, Whistling Diesel, we saw he was the first car to retire. James, we haven't not seen James forever. So James out, Vice Grip Garage, Brent at PFI Speed, Taylor Ray, Ryan Turk is out, Heavy D, Bowman, haven't seen him, Cletus. Diesel, Dave, Chelsea, Nova, Sean is just going from the bottom to the top, but still it is a Tanner Faust show. He's probably led the most laps out of any racer so far. Yeah, if my numbers are right, we are down to about 12 cars left on the racetrack with 50 laps to go. Is actually Diesel Dave, 435, he just came out of the paddock area back out on the racetrack. All right, well, we're going to re-rack them here. A short message from our sponsors. way through this 100 lap race that means we are 50 laps in with Tanner Faust leading the most laps we are hearing that unfortunately Murder Nova is out so the 187 has to retire and like you said Larry 12 cars again I'm, I'm not good at math but I, I can't count that's that's what I am I am counting out there right now and I'm, I'm just Cletus is back out there just having fun again hey <laughs> give it up for Cletus on the burnout bad boy on the show he's back in the race he, I think he's a couple laps down, but that don't matter. <laughs> hey, man, the way this racing's going there. Uh, oh, what is this? So 194 jumped in Bowman's car? 
That's how, does, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, that is. I think that's 144. 144. Brent PFI speed because they crossed out the 48 number and put 144 on it. <laughs> you see Murder Nova talking down to the track workers. He's having fun. Make some noise for Sean Murder Nova. Good stuff, bud. Spence, who did, did you, I can't remember, did you call, who, who was your money on? Uh, Tanner Faust, believe it or not. No. I'm not kidding. You Some lie. Guy recorded on his you don't GoPro have to lie to here. kick it there, hot dog fact destroyer. Check. Can we get the fact checkers? Yep, Tanner Faust, that's what they said. I'm good. Okay, all right, cool. I, I don't believe you. I mean, hey, I believe you. It, hey, you will knock it off, but I'll, don't make me come up there. Go ahead, bro. Bring me some beer. <laughs> Cleeter just yeah, going, going ham. Yeah, he just, he does a, he burn out every caution lap. Cleeter, drift, drift the inside oval. Drift the inside oval. Yeah, now he's just sideshowing, man. Because <laughs> right now it's, I mean, it's you're seeing the, t the top four there. Adam LZ in fourth. Haley Deegan quietly sitting back there in fifth. But the as it as it goes right now, Tanner Faust leads. Randy Pope second, Pastrana third, Adam LZ fourth, and rounding out top five, Haley Deegan. I think the only way they're going to beat Tanner Faust in that 34 car, they're going to have to make something happen on one of these restarts because yeah. once he clears them and turns one and two, he just drives away from them every single time. He, you know, I learned a lot about Tanner Faust this week, knowing that we were going to come here and do the broadcast. Make some noise, Among people! Among all his other things that he's doing, he's a movie and film stunt yeah. driver. Jared, correct yes, me if I'm wrong, but are we at the halfway point of the second Freedom 500? We are officially at the halfway point, my friend. Lap number 50. Oh, he's got a tire wobble. That back left tire looks oh, sorry. Boy. Oh, Oh, she's. Ouch. Yeah, she's. Not yeah. Happy. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The left rear tire is short lived. Its yeah. lifespan is short. Oh, man. Is that a one wheeler peeler there? Well, I think the Summit Racing Equipment Delivery Van has pulled off. We're going to go back racing That's here, right. Jared. That's right. All right, Tanner, Popst, Pastrana, LZ, and Haley Deegan. What do we got? We got a door open. Cletus pulls out. Haley right. Deegan in that 62, she made it three wide, and she's trying to take third away. Oh, man. And she's going to do it running oh. third now. Look at Travis falling back. Oh, and he goes, oh, Travis hard into the wall. Oh, no. Keeps going. Dude, look like Blake look, Wilkie look, look, got look. into it. We're, we're still going. Oh, look at this. Side-by-side -side blog and Pastrana both pulling off. That's an unfortunate way to leave the race. Coming oh. from third place, getting crashed out. We got some debris there on that back stretch now. We've got quite a battle back there for, yeah. for third between Haley Deegan in that 62 and Adam LZ in that 05. <laughs> All right. Look at that single file. Oh, what? By independent by himself, the 801 heavy D. All right. Single file line. Whistle while you work. Making their way. Lap 52 of 100. More than halfway through this race. Look at Adam LZ getting in the back of Randy. Adam LZ in that 0-5, he seems to be pretty good on the long run. He keeps trying to make the bottom work. He keeps trying to make the top work. But in the meanwhile, he's got his hands full of Haley Deegan in the 62. Yeah, Haley, Haley oh, just as you say that, look at that Haley gets loose. She saved it, though. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. But look at that. Heavy D gained some ground on her. Nice job by Tanner. Randy Popes throwing up a block in front of LZ. Yeah, Adam LZ is faster than Popes right now. He just can't quite find a way around him. Now, you do see the 07 car there behind them, Taylor Ray. He is down yeah. some laps. Yeah, he is not running in fourth position. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe he's, yeah, he's, he's back there quite a bit. It says uh, that Taylor Ray's in 16th. That's incorrect because Ryan Turk is retired. But, uh, here we go with Tanner continuing. You can see the lap counter, 56 of 100. There's in car with Travis. Is he re-entering? Or is it? Yeah. He's look coming back. Oh, look at this. Travis Pastrana is re-entering the Coliseum here. That is Freedom Factory. Make some noise 
for 199, Travis Pastrana. Pulling on those belts, making sure they're good and tight. <laughs> right. Took a licking, keeps on ticking. Way to go, TP. And it is an all Tanner Faust show right now. As Pope second, LZ in third, Taylor Ray. Again, he is a he's he's a bit of a lapper here. Yeah, right now behind Haley Deegan in the 62, who's running fourth, we're show, showing Kevin KSR in the 78 car. He is still on the lead lap back there in fifth. He is about close to a half lap down behind our leader Tanner Faust. Oh, look at this, Taylor Ray and Adam. Ooh, look <laughs> that's not a love tap, that's a hate tap. He says, stop, man, I'm a lead lap car, leave me alone. Yeah, get out of my way. 60 laps into this 100 lap race, 40 more to go. This, this, this Ooh. Taylor Ray and Adam LZ, it, it's going to go bad here any second. Oh, and man. See, Travis Pastrana, even though he's some laps down, he wants to get up there and have some part of the fun, that 199. Yep, shots fired, shooting across the nose of that Crown Vic. And, and yeah, I, I mean, Taylor's like, I want to play too. As Haley Deegan gets uh, gets blocked by Taylor Ray. Yeah, she wants to take advantage of maybe that door that Taylor Ray and that 07 is going to open for her. She pulls to the bottom of Adam LZ. Let's see if she can complete the pass. He's 15 laps down. Yeah, Taylor Ray is 15 laps down. Haley Deegan continues to make that bottom work. Yep. She, she gets the third spot away. There it is. She slides in. If she could keep it consistent, keep it clean, she could find herself out front. And look at LZ. He rises up. So uh, so look at this. Tanner Faust gets tussled up with uh, with a variety of drivers. But look at the space between Tanner and second place, Randy Popes. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, Randy oh. Popes is right there on Tanner Faust now, just about a half a car length back. Yep, in the 435, Diesel Daves looks like he exits out. You know, Popes had faded, but now he's all over the back of that 34 car of Tanner Faust as we're closing in on 35 laps to go. And even though the side-by-side -side blog, the pink Crown Vic out there currently sits behind Randy Popes. He's all the way back in 10th because he is laps down. I just want to know what the flagpole's made out of. I'd have never believe it would have survived oh, this the, kind of treatment. The, the tail whip? On yeah. It? Yeah. <laughs> well, because they're because they're, they do side by sides. That's what you find like uh, on on your UTV out in the desert, so you can see it. So it's a it's a whip. Well, he's trying to go up there and make a difference with these two leaders. He closes right in on the back of them. That's right. Okay, the 801, which Heavy D, that car has seen a lot of battle damage, but continues on as he exits out. I tell you, Taylor Ray, even though he is a number of laps down in that 07, he's as fast as any car out there right, right. now. He's just about caught the sleep pack. Well, Tanner Faust for his first ever time racing oval, racing on the racing here at Freedom, he's delivering. He is absolutely delivering. Like you said, a very talented driver, two-time Formula Drift champion, Red Bull Global Rallycross, a Rallycross champion, uh, just a very experienced driver. Look Dude, at this. hell yeah to Chelsea didn't open the 88, putting on the show. Look at him drifting. Oh, Chelsea having some fun out here, showboating. All right, let's see if Chelsea in the 88 on the opposite side. I think he's going to drift this whole turn. Come on. Oh. No, nope, he sticks sticks to uh, sticks to the standard line. Yeah, Spence, he's got the leaders right behind him. Lap 69 of 100, dude. Oh, look at Chelsea rises up, lets those lets the the serious competitors here of Tanner and Popes, Haley Deegan. You can see her back there quite a bit. She's still in third, and Kevin KSR, who's in fourth, haven't spoken much about him. Yeah, he got by Adam LZ in that 05 car to take that fourth spot away. But there, that's exactly what I was talking about. Yep. Taylor Ray in that 07, he's all over. In fact, he's, it looks like he's going to drive by these two Jeez. that's up there leading the race. Oh, what do we got here? Seeing the fans erupt with excitement. We have the race leaders 
going on turn two right now, coming into some lap traffic. We got Pumps on the inside oh. for first place. We got Randy Pumps just took the first place lead over Tanner Faust. Randy Popes takes the lead. Taylor Ray, not a contender, but still dicing oh it up. Oh, my. And I believe Tanner Faust. Tanner Faust has oh got a no. flat right front tire. Oh Tanner no. Faust got a flat tire. So uh, now Haley Deegan in the 62, she's going to take that second spot away. Oh, what a bummer for Tanner Faust. His equipment fails him, and he has to pull off. Oh, what a bummer for Tanner. We talked about it at the top of the show, Jared, that yep. flat tires was going to be a difference maker. We saw it in the 2.4 hour of LaMullets yep. back in November. Well, baked fresh daily, and there oh, goes no. Tanner Faust lighting him up. No, he's, he's just doing a fun burnout. Jared, Make some noise for Tanner Faust. You got Tanner Faust, he's smoking in the infield with that flat tire. Let's hope he can get a quick tire change. Look at Chelsea, there you go. Stepping it out sideways in that 88. We've got 25 laps to go here in the Freedom 500. Can Haley Deegan in that 62 car run our leader down? Randy Popes in the 31-13. We are officially three quarters of the race completed. 75 laps of 100, now 76 with Randy Popes. With that lead in Chelsea, sending it sideways. Oh, my God. Chelsea DeNova putting on a show for the fans. Look at that. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's just having a big old time, isn't he? Now, Randy Popes is okay with Chelsea putting on a show. Just, oh, I'm sure he said, don't bring it. Chelsea's out. drifting the whole turn in a stock crown back. You. Wow. Look at that. Manji down the straight initiating. Oh, he's rubbing the wall! Yes! Chelsea now doing it for the fans, getting hyped. What do you guys say? Make some noise. Low, look at, we got Sparks at that back right corner there. Dude, Chelsea DeNova with drifting every turn. He's going to run out of tires here soon. But look at him flick into the turn. Oh! We got two. Look Two at that, people sparks. jumping in those. Oh my God! Look at the flick of the Vic, and look at the leader right there coming up on him. Oh, Chelsea says exit stage left. Uh oh. Oh, what do we got here? Look at the entrance, folks. I what? see Whistling Diesel's car what? ready to come back into the race. Who wants to see Whistling Diesel wreck some carnage? <laughs> there he is. He's back, baby. The 01 Whistling Diesel re-enters the conversation as Chelsea drifts past him, Larry. Look at him. Look at this. Who is he looking for? <laughs> oh, man. Well, I, I think it was, uh, was it Diesel Dave that took um, him out or Heavy D? I can't remember which one it was. Tanner Faust in the 34. Of course, several laps down, he has made his way back out on the racetrack as we're closing in on 19 laps to go. Wow, Randy Popes still out front, whistling diesel. Ah, he came back in, but he is crawling out of turn two. Hey, Jared. Yes, sir. Spence, what's up? All right, Spence, are you eating another hot dog, bro? I, I, I can't hear you. And here we go, so. Oh, we got whistling diesel stuck up on the wall on the far side uh. under caution. I thought it, I think there it, it is. Out, too, I thought it was going to last longer than it did, but she did not last. The caution is out. That is not what our leader, Randy Popes, wanted to see. No. With 18 laps to go, that's going to put Haley Deegan up there with one more shot in his 62 car. All right, we got the Summit delivery van. The lights are on. Is he using nitrous as well? Is that, is that what's going on? He's decided a few times, I'm just not going to go out there. Just let them lead themselves around right, here. Right, right, right. I don't know why PFI Speed is driving Bowman's car. Why, why, why isn't Bowman just driving his car? Listen, Jared, it's the Freedom 500. We don't really know much about the rules here. All we know is that people came to watch. You have the freedom show. to do whatever you want, right? There you go. Absolutely. Yep. That makes sense. And these boys are putting on a hell of a show. How's Haley Deegan doing? Our Yo. only female driver still out there keeping it cool. Give it up for Haley freaking Deegan. That's what's up. That's where the fans are. Now, what one thing they're in, going boys? to do under this caution, Spence, is yeah. we, they, we've been told they're going to work very hard to get all the lead lap cars to the front. Anybody that's one or more laps down, behind everybody else. 
Copy. On my leaderboard here, I think I have Randy Popst in first. Hey. Then we have Haley Deegan hey, in second. Hey, Spencer. Hey, what? Guess who's back, brother? Hey! hey. is back! <laughs> Eminem? Guess Yo, back. can I get a hell yeah, brother? I'm back, baby! Yes, sir. Sliding back into the DM yes, for 99. Back, 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 back again, again, again. Cletus, back, back, back. Tell your friends. We got Tanner Fowl. Oh, my oh, God. Doing donuts around a parked car out there. Well, that's but Travis Pastrana the number that's out there. Of Tanner Fowl. Cletus is getting in on some action. Oh, oh my that's a Travis God. Pastrana filled donut. That's some good, clean family fun there, eh, Cot? Hell yeah. And there goes TP. He's firing it up. Holy sh The fans crazy, are dude. squealing. Yeah, you hear that? That's yeah. this lady. Yeah. All right, get, get back to the crazy section. <laughs> crazy, you lost a member. <laughs> you lost one team member. Three. So... Yeah, uh, you, you are correct, Spence. Randy Popes in first, Haley Deegan second, Kevin KSR third, Adam LZ fourth, and rounding out top five, Blake Wilkie. Yeah, we've not even really no. spoke about Blake in that 357 car, but there he is in the fifth position. And Tanner Faust with having to replace those tires slides all the way back to seventh with Travis Pastrana currently sitting in sixth. <laughs> there we go, Brewski for the hey Brewski. Hey, guys, this is Cleeter. Cleeter reporting live from the 99. Cletus, you've had all kinds of issues, buddy. How y'all feeling tonight? <laughs> Dude, fire me up. I blew my cool hose off doing donuts for you guys. But hey, this is America. Hey, you guys want to get a USA chant going for old Cleet? USA! 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 You guys are too freaking cool. You guys are the coolest fans ever. Hey, Spicy, we got 18 more laps left of the 100. <laughs> Who? That's, that's crazy to think that we're at lap number 82. How many cars we got left out there? I'm Two, sure with four, 13, six, eight, about 13, 13 left out. 13 cars left. Yeah. That means we've ran through the 20 that we're starting plus the seven additional backup. <laughs> Yikes. So basically half. <laughs> yeah. I bet Cletus recycles a lot of vehicles. <laughs> no, these go on the market tomorrow. Barely used, Crown Vicks, used One once. Owner. Here we go. Randy Pope's out front. Haley Deegan in second. Kevin KSR third. Adam LZ in fourth. And as we said, oh, look at this. Look to LZ and Haley. She holds on to it. She slaps. She goes hard into the wall. Oh, she oh, almost no. had it straight oh. down. They're still wrecking oh, over there. Oh, boy. no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. We're seeing up on the high side. We are still green. There's oh, there the it is. There yeah. it is. So, yeah, it looks oh. like Heavy D. Heavy D kept trying to stay in it, but he slammed. And Haley Deegan, I think she got hit by about every Holy other car God. that was out there. Oh, oh man. God. Hey, can we, we get a round Brandon of applause Deegan for Haley Deegan's 83 lap performance? Haley oh Deegan, God. our only female driver, made it over 80 laps. That's some freaking driving right there. I'll let her get my groceries anytime. So here it is. Look at this. Here's the replay. You can see. We are losing cars fast. Boom. Yeah. Hey. So a he heavy D hey guys, and what's up, Cleeter from the 99. Y'all want to see me hit the pace van? Yeah. Absolutely right. yes. You hit it enough, right, Cleeter, you you'll get there. all your laps back. Hit the van. Hit the van. Hit the van. Louder. Louder. Keep it going. Hit the van. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> Blake passes the van. 
<laughs> Poor van doesn't oh, know what's going the on. The van, Poor the van. pace van is now <laughs> lap <laughs> traffic. <laughs> Spin him out. Hit the van. <laughs> They're all getting a piece of the summit racing equipment delivery van. Going <laughs> back in formation, dude. Dude, when I say J-H, you say J-H, J-H. Who's driving that damn truck? <laughs> oh, my goodness. 17 laps. We got 17 laps to go. Randy Pope still out front, the 31-13, the flying moose. Guys, while we're under caution, can I get a big round of applause for my co-host, Jared DeAnda and Larry Mack Reynolds, America's Crew Chiefs, my men upstairs doing their thing. They're keeping us entertained, keeping the pay-per-view rolling, giving us the best show of our lives so that, yeah, I know I'm talking to people, bro. <laughs> thank Larry, you guys so much. Oh, you guys thank you. Man. Thank you. Spence, you're a man of many talents, uh, crushing hot dogs, singing the national anthem, and looking darn good doing it. Larry, and again, it's just a, a privilege and an honor to do something. Not, not, just, not just any racing, but this kind of racing. It's just funny, man. It's just, it's really cool. Been fun, fun stuff. I, I think the biggest question, how many drivers do we have left on the lead lap? I don't, I don't know that we have a lot that's left on the lead I lap. I think five. To, to be honest, I think five because, you know, we had, we had Tanner Faust go off. He got his tires, so he's down quite a few laps. I believe five. That's Randy Popes. You have Kevin KSR, Haley Deegan, and Adam LZ. And Blake Wilkie. But now Haley D. Yeah, that's she right. has gone to the garage oh. area, so we may only have three or four drivers that's left on the lead lap. So this could just be who can survive these next 17 laps. Oh, oh look at that thing. Woo wee. So yeah, that's the 801. That's heavy D. And it, it feels like forever ago, but it feels like just just moments ago when when we barely made 10 laps. We saw a, a bunch of carnage prior to just getting 10 laps completed. But we hey, definitely got into some longer green flag runs here. But as I said, now we're getting in the closing lap, Spence. And this is where they start running over the top of each Larry other. Larry Mack, could you do us a favor down here and give us the top five? Who's going to be finishing this race? I mean, we only got 17 laps left. Give us the rundown of who can potentially be the Freedom Factory 500 second event, winner, second, and third. Well, our scoring has not caught completely up. But what we do know is Randy Popes in the 31-13, he is leading the race. Kevin KSR in the 78 is second. We okay. think Adam LZ in the 05 is third, and Blake Wilkie maybe in the 357 is fourth. We're getting confirmation. Yep. That's at least the top four right there. Wow. Because all the other Forgive drivers are down laps. So such as Tanner Faust, Pastrana, you know, you got Sue in the side-by-side -side blog. They are laps down. So you mean to tell me we only have four drivers? On four the that we lap. know of. <laughs> oh, my God. I think it's the fans' fault. They keep cheering and yelling every time somebody wads up into the wall. Where did we find these people? I, I'm over here, you know, driving. I got to say, the experience with having fans here is insane. You guys are freaking awesome. Like... You know, I plan on driving a nice, chill, relaxing <laughs> race, you know, staying in the middle of the pack, driving smart. You guys started cheering, and I just ended up crashing because I was so fired up. So thank you. Hell yeah, brother. Thank you, Cletus. Thank you for being the, the, the madman behind this whole factory. I, I was going to say, before we go back racing, how about everybody give Cletus McFarlane the biggest hand you've given anybody tonight. You! Yeah, it is It is just awesome to see the, the smiles on the fans. I mean, the, the, such loyal fan base and just co the collective 20 drivers, their crews, their teams, everybody just having fun, man. And, and to be honest, this is for bragging rights. Yes, this it is, is. That's what it is more than anything. <laughs> and uh, I haven't seen the trophy. Maybe the Summit Van is the trophy. Here we go. We got one more lap. That was a little fake... Uh, Fake last lap there. You know what we say, Jared. What's that? Cautions breed cautions. So okay. we're probably not done with that little yellow flag mm. just yet. Mm. All right. The yeah. summit van pulls off. Spence, what's going on? I don't know. Everybody's shouting. I'm into it. Let's shout some more. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 
Oh my God. I had a gentleman come up to me just a second ago and he goes, my wife needs a boyfriend like you. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, sir, I am very taken and very happy, but it sounds like you need to work on some of your wife. <laughs> Let's go, Here we, go. we got 17 laps to go. Send it, Randy Popes, the Flying Moose. Boy. Getting challenged by Kevin of KSR. What a run. Kevin and KSR in the 78 got off turns one and two, but Randy's going to shut the door through three and four. The yellow Caution flag already. is waving again. You, you cursed us. You said cautions breed cautions. I don't and make you, this stuff up, Jerry. Oh, man, you just, you just talk about it. Oh, somebody jumped the start. So just to confirm, we do know that Randy Popes, the 31-13, is leading. Kevin KSR in the 78 is second. Adam LZ in the 05 is fourth. And Blake Wilkie in that 357, he, he is fourth. Adam LZ yep. is third. Yep. <laughs> All right. What is going on here? Oh, boy. The side-by-side -side block.